Ireland is very far from the land. Most, even those living in the heart of our major cities, can trace a link to the land to within one or two generations. It is part of who we are as a people. It's deep in our DNA. And it is this land that can play a major role in rebuilding our economy and in sustaining thriving rural communities for generations to come. During the Celtic Tiger boom years, as successive governments looked to make a quick buck through unsustainable and dangerous economic policies, farming was regarded as a poor relation and neglected. The knock-on effect, especially now as a tiger has stopped roaring, has been catastrophic. Rural communities have been decimated through unemployment, emigration and the loss of vital public services. The rural landscape is deeply scarred as once thriving communities give way to dereliction and abandonment. According to the World Bank, almost 40% of our population live in rural Ireland in 2012. However, forced urbanisation through the centralisation of power and access to services such as health, education, job opportunities and even community safety have been the legacy of government policies over the last decade and more and have ensured that rural decline continues year on year. The closure of Garda stations, post offices, small schools, local hospitals and the further cuts to rural transport mean that the people who live in rural Ireland are being treated as second-class citizens in their own country. On Bod Bon on Tain Rawa atod Kidge War the Winter Natuha. Since the partition of our island, all too often administrations north and south have relied on forced emigration as a tool of their economic policy to massage unemployment figures and lessen the voices of dissent. Since the crash, we have a new generation of emigrants, the Skype generation, growing up in Brisbane, Birmingham and Baltimore, only seeing their grandparents and aunts and uncles on a computer screen. A generation playing their GAA abroad while clubs at home struggle to put together a senior team. This is the generation we would have needed in rural Ireland to keep our schools open, our shops busy and our services running smoothly. This draining of talent and of capable people leaves rural Ireland without the human support it needs to maintain vibrant communities. Defending a rural way of life in Ireland is more than looking to the next cheque from the single farm payment scheme. It means ensuring that our children, our grandchildren and our children's grandchildren can grow up and live and want to live in a sustainable community. And at the core of that is ensuring the protection and nurturing of our farming and fishing communities. These will form the bedrock of any economic recovery. It is time for a fight back. That means that the people who live in rural areas must organise their communities and fight the cuts. We must demand access to our public services. We need to put pressure on the banks for the credit needed for small businesses to survive. We must ensure that government policies address the needs and concerns of the 40% of us who are trying to live and work in rural Ireland. Sinn Féin is organised across Ireland's 32 counties. We have been listening to the concerns of rural people at our meetings around the country and at the agricultural shows. We know the pressure people are under and we are formulating policies that will help to both preserve our rural way of life and restore the essential services and rights which this decade of austerity has stripped from the Irish people. When Sinn Féin set about formulating policy last year, Trevor O'Claherty and myself travel to all parts of the country in debate and in consultation with the people of Ireland to formulate policy for the future of Irish agriculture. We started the process in Mayo, the home of Michael Davitt, the founder of the Land League. Land of Ireland for the people of Ireland was his slogan. He believed 
There was nothing that the Irish people could not accomplish if they were united together and stood together to bring about this fundamental change. Irish people have proven him right in all sorts of circumstances. By uniting people, Sinn Féin believes and implementing policies that encompass the Republican ideals of freedom, justice and equality and solidarity, we can bring about real change. Sinn Féin isn't in government in the South yet, but if we were, we think we could certainly make a difference for rural communities. We're not saying we can change everything overnight, but we can certainly have a very positive impact on the policies that really have an impact on the day-to-day -day lives of rural people in Ireland. We would certainly change the emphasis of policy. We wouldn't be looking to make the rich richer while those on lower and middle income suffer. We'd be looking for equality of policy across all of the issues in rural Ireland. Not everybody living outside of the urban areas is involved in farm related activities, but the development of a strong agri food sector and agriculture in general is important for the economy in rural Ireland as a whole. In the North, the Sinn Féin Minister for Agriculture, Michelle O'Neill, has prioritised funding towards tackling rural poverty and social isolation by developing schemes with key targets to reach by March 2015. These include 500,000 rural passenger trips to be provided under Assisted Rural Travel Scheme, 12,000 rural households visited by trained enablers under Maximising Access in Rural Areas, Additional support for rural people under community development and rural support programmes. 8,000 rural dwellers to receive health screening under farm family health checks. 5,000 rural dwellers anticipated to benefit from rural challenge programme. 1,460 rural young unemployed people to increase their employability skills through youth employability programme. 100 vulnerable young unemployed rural people to complete business action plans under rural youth entrepreneurship. 230 rural households to obtain a wholesome water supply by the construction of a private bore well and the delivery of energy efficiency improvements to domestic households under Fuel Poverty Initiative. Following the success of the previous Rural Development Programme in the North, the Minister Michelle O'Neill also recently announced details of the new programme which will provide £623 million of funding to our farmers and rural communities. This funding will go towards farm diversification, improving access to basic services, rural business projects, rural tourism, village renewal and conserving rural heritage. The Minister has also outlined her intention to strengthen rural proofing across our executive departments in the North. This will help provide fair and equitable treatment for rural dwellers by ensuring that the particular needs and circumstances of rural areas are routinely considered as part of the policy development process. There are many challenges facing rural Ireland and these challenges have to be tackled head on. What we need to see is a strategy that supports our farming community and helps them to flourish. What we need to see is a strategy that keeps people on the land. What we need to see is a strategy that improves the services for rural dwellers, be that in regards to education, health, rural transport, rural childcare. What we need is to turn things around. We can change things. We can create better opportunities. Join Sinn Féin. Stand up for Rural Ireland. Shasin Shinfein Le Pobal Natui, Shaslin.